Hello, everybody. We will start in an Arabic prayer. Hail Mary and our Father. Sve vas pozdravljam, počet ćemo na arapskom sa oči našom i zdravom Marijom. Bismillah, wal ibn wal ruh al-Qudus, al-ilah al-wahid, amin. Abana al-lazhi fi s-samawat li yataqaddas ismuka, li yati malakutuka, li takun mashiatuka, kama fi s-samai kathalika ala al-ard. Kruh naš svakda će daj nam danas i otpusti nama duge naše, kako i mi otpuštamo dužnicima našim. I ne uvedi nas u napast, nego izbavi nas od zla. Amen. Assalamu alaiki ya Marijam, ya mumtali'atan ni'ma al-Rabbu ma'aki. Mubarakatun anti fin nisa, wa mubarak thamrat batniki Jesua. Sveta Marijo, majko Božja, moli za nas grešnike, sada i na času smrti naše. Amen. Mažd li l-Ab, wal-Ibn, wal-Ruh al-Qudus. Kako bijaše na početku, tako i sada, i vazda, i u vijeke vijekova. Amen. Ok, so first I want to thank you for this opportunity. Thank the lady that she chose me to give my testimony today. Zahvaljujem svima na ovoj mogućnosti, na ovoj prilici i zahvaljujem gospi što mi je dala da danas svjedočim. It's my tenth time in Međugorje. Već deseti put sam u Međugorju. And my fifth time in the choir. I peti puta u zboru. So I'm Maisa Araf from Mehelia village. Zovem se Maisa Araf, dolazim iz sela Mehelia. Mehelia village. It's from Israel, the Holy Land. To se nalazi u Izraelu, u svetoj zemlji. I live in Galilee, in a small village. We are all Christian Catholic. It's a unique village. A village in Israel that we have only a Christian in this village. Živimo Galilei. Naše selo je potpuno kršćani katolici. Jedino selo u Izraelu u kojem su svi katolici. I'm a social worker. I I finished my master degree in violence and addicted studies. Ja sam socijalni radnik i imam post diplomski i status iz nasilja i ovisnosti. I'm also a family and couple therapist. Isto tako sam terapeutkinja za obitelji i bračne parove i parove. I raised in a religious family. My parents used to to all the to go all the time to church. I have two sister and one brother. We all the time used to pray. Since we born. Rođena sam u vjerničkoj obitelji, imam dvije sestre, jednog brata i uvijek smo molili i mi smo navikli na to da molimo od kad smo se rodili. But the real change happened when Vitska visit my village in 2013. Ali prava promjena se dogodila kad je Vitska posjetila moje selo 2013. I didn't know about Međugorje before, I didn't know about the operation. Prije toga nisam znala ništa o Međugorju, niti o ukazanjima. But I felt inside me that the lady is coming and I can remember also what I wear in this day. Ali ja sam u sebi osjetila da gospa doista dolazi i točno se sjećam što sam taj dan imala na sebi. I asked the lady, please... Let me see you, let me feel your existence. It's not because I don't believe that you are here, it's just I want to see your beauty. I ja sam molila Gospu, daj mi da te vidim, i to nije zato što ne bi vjerovala u njezino postojanje, nego zato što sam htjela vidjeti koliko je lijepa. And uh, when I reached uh, the place, I saw Vitska, and before the operation, I knew that it's real because of the joy that she had in her face and the love that she spread to the people. I došla sam tamo i vidjela sam Vicku i prije nego što je počelo ukazanje, ja sam znala da je to istinito zbog radosti i ljubavi koje je ona zračila prema ljudima. I felt inside me, if she is a person like me and she have this joy and this love in her eyes, like I want to be like her. Ja sam si mislila, ako je ona čovjek kao ja i ako u svojim očinima ima tu ljubav i tu radost, onda ja želim biti poput nje. And when the operation started, before it, I started to pray the rosary. I had a lot of rosaries before in my house, but I didn't pray rosary before. I prije ukazanja molila se krunica i ja sam molila krunicu. 
U našoj kući je bilo puno krunica, ali ja molila nisam. So I prayed the rosary and in the operation uh, the lady uh, let me see the sun. I saw all the effect of the sun, the circles, everything, the colors and suddenly I felt like something in my heart deep and I started to cry and cry and cry and fall on the chair. <laughs> I gospod, za vrijeme ukazanja vidjela sam ono što nazivamo neki fenomen sunca, dakle krugovi i boje i gospod mi je dala sve to vidjeti i to me se duboko dojmilo i jednostavno sam ostala zalijepljena za svoj stolac, Pala, sjela sam i ukočila se. And this was like really something so strong to me and I started to say I saw something, I saw something. And my sister told me, I believe you, I believe you. And, uh, ja sam bila toliko pod dojmom, govorila sam, nešto sam vidjela, nešto sam vidjela. A moja sestra mi kaže, ma vjerujem ti, vjerujem ti. I left uh, when, when it's over and uh, I found like myself going uh, in, the, in, in the streets and like my friends asked me, is that real, is it like, is there a really operation there? And I said, yes, of course, I saw it. I kad je bilo to završilo, onda sam poslije izašla van i moji prijatelji su mi govorili šta je to, je li tu stvarno neko ukazanje, je li se stvarno nešto dukađa, događa, a ja sam im rekla ja sam vidjela nešto. And then like um, after like this I felt like really big joy and after it's like I, I came back to my life, my regular life, it was in August 2013. I nakon toga sam se vratila u svoj uobičajeni život, ali sam osjećala ogromnu radost. To je bilo u kolovozu 2013. I came back like to my work. I had two jobs. I had a lot of money. I had everything in my daily life, my, my night life with my friends. Like I did everything. Vratila sam se svom poslu, imala sam dva posla, dobro sam zarađivala, imala sam sve, dnevni i noćni život, sve. We have a beautiful family and my family like it's she's my it's my life but I I felt something is missing. Imala sam prekrasnu obitelj i moja obitelj je bila moj život, ali osjećala sam da mi nešto nedostaje. I felt really depression and I asked Jesus like what do you want from me like what's going to be tomorrow? I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a, i want to like to get married i have a lot of crosses i don't know like why what do you want from me ja sam osjećala kao neku vrstu depresije pa sam pitala boga pa dobro šta sad šta osjećaš šta želiš od mene nema muža šta šta će biti sutra in april 2014 i u travnju 2014 father marwan khuri from lebanon He visited Meelia. Otac Marvan Huri iz Libanona posjetio je naše selo. What's the My name village. of the village? I cannot repeat it. <laughs> And uh, I wanted to see him. I, I asked for a permission. I htjela sam s njim razgovarati i tražila sam to. I have a confession and I like just crying and crying and telling him that I don't know. I feel depression. I don't know what's gonna be tomorrow. I išla sam kod njega na ispovjed i rekla sam mu i plakala sam i rekla sam da sam u depresiji i da ne znam šta će biti sutra. In this period I didn't have a faith in priests. U to vrijeme nisam vjerovala u svećenike. So in his eyes like and he, he had this confidence and told me I can see Jesus in your heart and tomorrow will be more beautiful. Ali on je u mojim, on, on mi je ulio povjerenje. I vidjela i rekao mi je vidim Isusa u tvojim očima i sutra će biti bolje nego danas. And this confidence of his uh, talk let me ask him do you really see my see Jesus in my heart like I toliko ta, ta, to, ulio je to njegovo to po, ulio je u mene toliko povjerenje da sam ga ja pitala pa dobro stvarno vidiš Isusa u meni u mom srcu. And here started the journey. I, I went uh, after him in all the villages that he visited. I tu je počelo njegovo putovanje i ja sam ga slijedila u, sve, u svako selo u koje je on dolazio. And suddenly I, we, we, I visit uh, St. Charbel uh, church in Mount Carmel, Osefija. I onda sam posjetila svetište Svetog Šarbela na brdu Karmelu. And it was at the Divine Mercy Fest. I to je bio blagdan božanskog milosrđa. 
Uh, when I entered the church, I didn't know that this church is, exists in Israel. Ja kad sam ušla u tu crkvu, prije toga nisam ni znala da ona postoji u Izraelu. And uh, there was the manager of uh, the Marian movement. I tamo se nalazio voditelj Marijanskog pokreta. And there like they sing to the Lord and suddenly I felt like I want to, to praise the Lord like them and I want to to sing in like in a church that is uh, like full of people just praising the Lord. I oni su pjevali i ja sam osjetila da ja želim pjevati i slaviti Boga u crkvi puno ljudi kao oni. And this uh, this was the first meeting that uh, like let it me join the Marian movement. I to je bilo prvi put i tada sam poželjela pridružiti se tom Marijanskom pokretu. In the same month uh, suddenly I stopped my two jobs. One of them I quit from and the other day fired me. <laughs> I taj isti mjesec sam prekinula sa oba svoja radna mjesta. Jedno, na jednom mjestu sam ja dala ostavku, a na drugom su mi dali otkaz. It was like six months without working and just starting to pray the rosary with the sisters of my village. I tako da šest mjeseci nisam radila i samo sam počela moliti, moliti krunicu sa sestrema koje su u mojem selu. So I started to really to pray and um, like just live, live a life without any salary, without money, like just to live without shopping. I forgot about all the, the shopping, I forget about all the stuff that the lady want. And in this period, I really had the, the most like compliment I had ever. That like I'm most... so beautiful, that I'm without makeup, I am so simple. It uh -huh. was the most like period that I, I got compliment from mm. the people. Uh -huh. I ta, dakle, to je bilo vrijeme kad sam, šest, kad sam živjela bez primanja, puno sam molila uh, uh, i, i, i ostavila sam sve one svjetovne stvari, shopping na koje sam bila navikla i u to vrijeme i odrekla sam se i make-upa i svih tih stvari i tada upravo tada su me, sam dobivala najviše komplimenata od ljudi da dobro izgledam. It was full emptiness from everything that I loved. Just being with the lady and prayer and live a simple life that I, I ever had it before. Dakle, ispraznila sam se od svega onog što je bilo prije i živjela sam samo jedan potpuno jednostavan život sa gospom kakav prije nisam poznavala. In July 2014 I visited Međugorje for the first time. I u srpnju 2014. prvi put sam došla u Međugorje. From the entrance of Međugorje I felt the existence of the lady And Jesus, I felt it in the in the streets, and I felt it in the in the people. Everyone is having this joyful, joyful uh, reaction. O čim sam ušla u Međugorje, osjetila sam prisutnost Isusu i Gospinu i u ljudima, jer su svi bili puni radosti. And then, when I came back to uh, to Israel, I I was like, that's it. I'm a member, officially member in the Marian movement, and I find myself. Like all the time there, just serving the lady. I vratila sam se u Izrael i kao članica Marijanskog pokreta bila sam stalno vrije, cijelo vrijeme tamo i samo u gospinoj službi. And one week before I came to Medjugorje, I, I get a, a letter that I, I was accepted in another job that I really wanted. A tjedan dana prije odlaska u Međugorje dobila sam pismo da, sam, da su me primili na jedan posao, na jedno radno mjesto koje sam stvarno željela. Onih šest mjeseci uopće nisam razmišljala ni o poslu, ni sam tražila posao i onda jedan dan otvorim kompjutor i nađem e-mail i pismo da mi nude dobar posao. It was really from the lady. This is going like you now have to go to check uh, like for job. To je kao da mi je gospa rekla sad je vrijeme da opet proradiš, da ideš, da imaš posao. In this period, you know, I told you that my family it's like for me it's the, the first in my life and for me like even though like birthdays and celebrations it will have been like the most important thing for me. 
Vi ste rekla sam vam da je obitelj bila sam moj život i blagdan i proslave rođendana i slično, to je bilo za mene jako važno. Suddenly it started like to the Maria movement manager wanted me to go to the evangelizing with him every day in some place. I needed like to, to say goodbye to my family. I don't need, I can't stay in those celebrations anymore. I onda je upravitelj Marijanskog pokreta me je pozvao da idem s njim uh, na evangelizacijska putovanja i tada sam morala reći svojoj obitelji ne mogu više sudjelovati u tim proslavama i blagdanima. And here also started the sacrifice that and the fights at the family. I tu su nastale žrtve i sukobi u obitelji. Because they, they like, just wanted me to just pray in my village. What do you need from Medjugorje? Why you, you have to go to other, other villages and to talk about Medjugorje? We need you at the home. Oni su htjeli da ostanem doma i nek se ja fino molim u svom selu. Zašto bi ja išla okolo, putovala i govorila o Medjugorju? But I told them like the, the lady is calling me and uh, I want to be there. She, she needs me. She put all if, uh, those hobbies in me all this, these energies i need to, to give it to the lord and not to you i ja sam im rekla da me gospa zove i da je ona u mene stavila tu energiju i, i da uh, tu energiju moram dati ne samo njima nego gospodinu and it's really bad when you have fight with your mom and you can lose your uh, <laughs> you can lose it uh, really you, you lose your uh, calm like easily i to je strašno kad čovjek uđe u sukob sa svojom vlastitom mamom, možeš jako lako izgubiti mir i poljuti i razljutiti se. Yes, and I started like to be a, a place like the people if they want to search about Medjugorje or to, to know something they, they will ask me. I tako sam ja postala osoba kojoj su se ljudi obraćali koji su htjeli nešto znati o Medjugorju. At the same time I kept in my relationships with the, with my friends going in the bars hanging out and there i found myself just talking about jesus ja sam nastavila družiti se svojim prijateljima i otići van u bar i, i ali ja sam to vrijeme stalno govorila samo o isusu i feel that jesus want me to continue in this um, uh, weekend just to talk about him like after like a few beers that we had we can talk about jesus like this <laughs> Ja sam osjetila da Isus želi da, da u tom okruženju govorimo o njemu. I onda popijemo par piva i onda pričamo o Isusu. And for, for my friend it was like how you can do it? How you can have your time with Jesus and you still have this joy with us? A moji prijatelji su se iščuđavali i nije im bilo jasno kako ja mogu pričati stalno o Isusu i družiti se s njima na njihov način. I told him that Jesus want us really to be happy even though if we he don't ask us just to to like uh, just be with him and that's it he want us to be w- like with the others but um, with joy and love A ja sam im rekla da Isus hoće da budemo veseli i radosni a ne samo da sjedimo negdje u kutku s njim nego da budemo s drugim ljudima i dijelimo radost i ljubav You can also work and you can also have relationships and you can also pray. Možeš raditi, možeš imati uh, međuljudske odnose i moliti. And uh, I had like this life like uh, since now it's eight years just serving in the Marian movement and uh, our spiritual uh, uh, like the basics of our movement it's Medjugorje and the Divine Mercy. I tako živim već otprilike osam godina, a duhovnost, odnosno temeljna duhovnost našeg pokreta Marijanskog je Međugorje i Božansko milosreće. We have like every week uh, two times formal uh, uh, meetings and we have uh, every 22 of the month at St. Charbel Church uh, Međugorje program. Mi imamo službene ovaj, sastanke dva puta tjedno, a svako... 22 of the month. Svakog 22. u mjesecu u crkvi Svetog Šarbela imamo međugorski program. Because San Šarbel asked the people to in that in every 22 of the month he will be there with the people praying in in every church that uh, in, written in his name. Zato što je Sveti Šarbel bio rekao da će svakog 22. u mjesecu u svim crkvama koje su mu posvećene biti s narodom. And there I serve the lady like by singing like in the adoration and mass 
rosary, everything. I ja sam gospi, gospi služim pjevajući uh, za vrijeme krunice, na klanjanju, na misi. In my second uh, visit to Međugorje in the 2015, kad sam drugi puta došla u Međugorje 2015, I used to come at the beginnings just for one week and uh, after I am like I visit Međugorje every year like for one month and I can't feel enough. Prvi put sam došla onako prvi, prvih puta sam dolazila na po tjedan dana a poslije toga po mjesec dana i nije mi dosta. In one night uh, we had adoration and I was like so uh, like I saw the people how they are like uh, praying and there's no noise like everyone just praise the lord and pray jedne noći bilo je klanjanje ja sam primijetila tu uh, prekrasnu tišinu nije bilo nikakve buke svi su sabrano molili it touched my heart so much to mi je jako dirnulo srce and uh, roland's uh, voice had uh, like he's the one that brings me to to feel this in medjugorje and i felt at the same moment when i heard roland uh, sing i just like heard very clear voice that I want your voice like Roland's voice. I want your voice to bring people to the church praying. I Roland je pjevao i čula sam njegov glas i dok je on pjevao uh, ja sam čula u sebi jedan glas želim da ti budeš kao Roland da pjevaš i da nosiš uh, poruku i da ljude privlačiš u crkvu. It was very clear and in from this moment i couldn't feel the joy of singing because i i used to be a famous singer i have a lot of stages i i used to be in a um, i i went to the to a new star like it was a program mm-hmm. and all the people just waiting for me like when you will have cd when you will uh, like sing and a new songs and when i went back to to israel i felt that i don't want to sing anymore in those stages uh, prije toga Moram napomenuti da sam bila prilično poznata, pjevala sam, sudjelovala sam u onim programima koji se, u kojima se bira nova zvijezda i ljudi su me slušali, imala sam e, nastupe, pitali su me kad će izaći moj novi CD i nove pjesme, ali nakon tog boravka u Međugorju više mi se uopće nije pjevalo onakav repertoar. And after four years in Međugorje, My friend Charbel, the manager of the Marian movement, he asked me, "Do you want to join the choir?" I nakon što sam četiri puta bila u Međugorju, voditelj zbora Marijanskog pokreta Charbel me je pitao, "Ne bi li ja možda htjela sudjelovati u zboru na Mladi festu?" So I said, "Of course, if the lady wants me, of course, why not?" So we sent email to Lydia. <laughs> ja sam rekao, "Naravno, ako gospa hoće da dođem, kako da ne?" I poslali smo email Lidiji. And then in this period I was so afraid to join the choir because I really had bad experience in a choir in Israel. I u to vrijeme sam se jako bojala pristupiti zboru jer sam imala dosta loša iskustva sa zborovima u Izraelu. I had something really bad with the maestro, some maestro and uh, I felt so sad about it and I asked Jesus why he let it this happened. But after four year I I realized why. Imala sam nekih dosta neugodnih poteškoća sa, sa dirigentima zborova i nije mi bilo jasno kako i zašto se to događa i nakon četiri godine sam shvatila zašto. This man really treat me so bad and that I, I could like dream about him every night for like one year and I feel that like the Satan wants to kill me. Taj čovjek se prema meni vrlo ne, ne, neugodno odnosio, tako da sam ga sanjala svake noći i imala sam osjećaj da me se to nahoće zadavit. In one night in the adoration in Medjugorje, I felt so, so happy and so blessed and felt like the lady fulfilled my, my, my heart in a joy. I jedne večeri na klanjanju u Međugorju osjećala sam takav blagoslov i mir i osjetila sam da gospa hoće ispuniti moje srce radošću. In this moment I find myself like asking her please lady let him come to Medjugorje and feel this joy like you now fulfilled my heart i onda sam zamolila gospod daj neka on dođe u Medjugorje da iskusi tu radost kojom si ti ispunila moje srce let him feel your, feel your love neka on osjeti tvoju ljubav and from this night 
I forgot about this person. I nakon like toga that's it gone. <laughs> potpuno sam zaboravila na njega, to je otišlo. After really one year of not sleeping because of him. A godinu dana sam loše spavala zbog njega. So it's like praise the lady and the Lord, it's for them. Eto, hvala Gospi, hvala Bogu. And when I came to, uh, to, to the choir, I was afraid like of meeting Damir. I kad sam se pridružila ovom zboru, bojala sam se šta će biti. Uh, and when, when I met him, like the first uh, moment, when he saw me, he said, hello, we are waiting for you. A kad sam vidjela našeg dirigenta, on me dočekao i od prvog trenutka mi je rekao, hej, čekamo te. And he like, he hugged me and like, I, I didn't know him before and I felt this love that he, that he gave me from the first moment. I on me zagrlio, a uopće se nismo prije toga poznavali, ja sam osjetila tu ljubav od prvog trenutka. And he, he really gave me a responsibilities, like I didn't know that me, I will sing a solo, I didn't know, just wanted like to be in the choir. Ja sam samo htjela pjevati u zboru, a on mi je dao da pjevam solo, dao mi je tu odgovornost. And it was for me like really blessing and gift from the lady. And then when I met the, all the members, I feel really family. To je za mene bio blagoslov i gospin dar. I onda kad sam upostala sve ostale članove u zboru, onda sam vidjela da smo mi doista jedna prava obitelj. And when I met Roland, that it was for me a dream to meet him. A za mene je bio san snova upoznat Rolanda. Yeah, and when, when we met and he heard my voice, he told me, oh, Israeli, and I'm gonna do a project with you. I kad, je, kad me je čuo i kad je čuo moj glas i da sam iz Izraela, onda je rekao da on ima neke planove. I didn't know what he meant. Nisam znala što misli. After he talked about some CD. I nakon toga je govorio o snimanju nekakvog CD-a. I thought that Roland wanted to do, make a new CD like uh, in few languages that he make all the time and I will just uh, give my uh, voice in Arabic sentence. Ja sam mislila da Roland hoće snimiti neki novi CD na više jezika kao što je to već prije radio i da ću ja samo sudjelovati svojim glasom za arapski jezik. And during the recording in 2019 i dok smo snimali 2019 I asked him, Roland, when you, when you will uh, record your voice? Pitala sam ga, Roland, kad ćeš ti snimat svoj glas? And he said, no, Maisa, it's all Arabic. Onda, sam je, onda je on rekao, ne, Maisa, ovo je sve na arapskom. So it was for me, like, a gift, because, like, before, all the people in Israel asked me uh, to, to release a CD, adoration CD in Arabic. I to je za mene bio stvarno dar, jer ljudi su me tražili da snimim pjesme za klanjanje na arapskom. But Sharbel, my friend, told me, let us wait, let us wait. A moj prijatelj Sharbel mi je govorio, pričekaj, pričekaj. And then the lady, like, she chose me to, to, do, to make the CD in Međigorje with Roland and Melinda and the others that I dreamed to work with. I onda je gospa izabrala da ja snimim CD u Međugorju s Roladom, s Melindom i s ljudima s kojima sam sanjala da ću jednog dana raditi. And when I asked Roland, like, why you choose me? There was a very beautiful voices from Lebanon before me in the choir that can help you in Arabic. I pitala sam Rolanda zašto si mene izabrao? Pa mi smo u zboru imali tolike prekrasne glasove mladih koji dolaze iz Libanona za arapski jezik. So he said, The lady chose you. She wants you. On, on mi je rekao da je gospa mene izabrala da mene hoće. So here like I when, when I really uh, look at my life like when I was like just uh, at the beginning I used to to you know to drive the car of my life to do everything as I wished. Kad pogledam na svoj život onda vidim da sam nekad prije ono vozila auto svog života onako kako sam ja htjela. It was every, every, like I, I felt so, so hard, so tired uh, when, I, when I will, like when I, when I was thinking about everything, it's tiredness, it's full tiredness. I sjećam se da kad sam razmišljala o stvarima i imala neke svoje, uh, to me je umaralo i to je bilo tvrdo. So, and, and when I was like uh, full emptiness, God was there. God fulfilled it with everything that he wants with the onda, onda je Bog došao ispuniti moju prazninu onime s čime on htio. 
Like uh, the lady uh, uh, let me feel heaven in the operation here in the second of like uh, if every month with Marianne operation. He, he let me, she let me feel really heaven. Jednog puta kod, Mar- kod Mirjane da ukazanju je Bog mi je stvarno dao osjetiti nebo. I feel this uh, this joy this uh, this uh, this power when I came here I just don't want to go back. Ovdje sam osjetila takvu radost i takvu snagu da jednostavno više ne želim otići. I thought about the consecrated life. Onda sam razmišljala o posvećenom životu. And it was like all the time the you know the challenge between like consecrated life and the marriage. I onda je stalno bilo to kolebanje između posvećeni život ili brak. I had a relationship uh, like uh, since two years. Imala sam dečka s kojim sam bila dvije godine. It was so hard in this relationship. A to je do, taj odnos je bio tako težak. Like um, my my boyfriend like raised um, in a place that he couldn't believe in love. Moj momak je odrastao na mjestu u okruženju u kojem nije mogao vjerovati u ljubav. And uh, it was like really complicated relationship. I odnos je bio baš kompliciran. It's like blocking me in WhatsApp, blocking me in everything. Like in, in one day he will tell me I love you and the second day he will tell me I don't love you, I don't need you, I don't want you in my life. I to, to me stvarno blokiralo jer jedan dan je rekao volim te, drugi dan je rekao ne volim te, ne želim te u svom životu. And for me as a myself, I will think like a human thinking, I will tell him so go, you can go, I don't need you. Al majsa ako gleda na ljudski način može mu reći idi, odlazi, ne trebam te. But something deep inside me, um, like I heard a voice like all the time telling me, he loves you, but he don't know what is love. It's your mission to show him the love and the forgiveness. Al nešto o meni je stalno govorilo, on te voli, ali ne zna šta je ljubav, moraš ga naučiti ljubavi i opraštanju. And just during the prayers, during the rosary prayer, I could have this strength. I felt the lady is with me. I molitva krunice mi je davala tu snagu, osjećala sam da je gospa sa mnom. And last year in the summer I was here in the Mladifest. Prošlo ljeta bila sam ovdje na Mladifestu. Like we were broke up like for three months. Bili smo prekinuli tri mjeseca. And when I came here I told her, please release me. I don't want him anymore. I rekla sam, došla sam ovamo i rekla sam gospi, molim te, oslobodi me toga, ne želim ga više. And suddenly when I was here he started to, to try to, to contact me again. I kad sam ja, dok sam ja bila ovdje, on je opet pokušao usto, uspostaviti kontakt sa mnom. I told her I don't want him. Why you are doing like this? I forgot about him. You helped me at, like when I came and now you are giving me back this love in my heart. A ja sam rekla, gospi, šta je sad ovo? Lijepo sam te molila da me toga oslobodiš i dobro, sam, dobro mi je bilo i sad mi opet vraćaš tu ljubav u srce. And I was in, in some confession. Išla sam na ispovjed. And there also I asked for signs. I tražila sam znakove. And when, I, when the confession was ended, I, I, I saw some uh, lady from Lebanon. Kad je završila ispovjed, srela sam jednu gospođu iz Libanona. Young lady that she consecrated her life to Jesus. Jedna mlada žena koja je svoj život posvetila Isusu. I thought like okay it's a sign for me. I rekla sam u redu to je za mene znak. After two minutes I came to the church. I dvije minute poslije toga dolazim u crkvu. And I saw a proposal. I proposal. <laughs> Someone proposed to, to some lady. A i vidjela sam jednog, vidjela sam jednog mladića kako uh, moli za ruku jedne djevojke, zaručnik, so I said, da se zaruče. Okay. So it's a sign also. A onda sam rekla, pa i ovo je znak. So there I felt that the lady want to tell me, I bless everything that you want, if you want this or that, it's your decision. The way she, she told the visionaries before when they ask her what she want from them. I onda sam osjetila da mi gospa kaže ja blagoslivljam što god ti odlučiš. Blagoslivljam tvoju odluku bilo to ovo ili ono. Tako nešto je gospa bila rekla i vidiocima, ostavljajući im slobodu. So when I came back to Israel, he, he contacted me again and he wanted to be in a relationship. And today we are engaged. <laughs> Kad sam se vratila u Izrael, on me kontaktirao i ponovo smo zajedno i sad smo zaručeni. 
So for all the ladies who are still searching and waiting, you just need to pray and wait. <laughs> Tako da svim djevojkama koje još uvijek ne znaju, samo im kaže molite se i budite strpljive. It's really like hard thing for the ladies and all the time asking Saint Joseph. I asked her for Saint Joseph like like Saint Joseph and she bring me Joseph. His name is Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> ja sam molila Gospod da mi, poka- da mi pošalje svog svetog Josipa, a moj momak se zove Josip. So it's really miracle, like when we just uh, count on her and just like, like deal with everything in love. Because I show him this love, I was stable in the love that the lady gave me. We could have this relationship again, he could have the confidence of the love. Uh, Gospa nam pomaže u tom smislu da, da, nam, da, 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 da možemo ljubiti. Ja sam njega voljela i pomogla mu na taj način. I am unable to understand. To, to translate, it touched me too much. Teško mi ovo prevest previše bi ganulo. <laughs> the lady filled my heart in love. Gospa je ispunila moje srce ljubavlju. And made me really like be stable in this. I dala mi je stabilnost u toj ljubavi. For the whole two years, through the difficult. Kroz dvije godine, kroz sve poteškoće. And when he really felt this love. I kad je on stvarno osjetio tu ljubav. He could have this confidence in our relationship. Onda je imao povjerenja u naš odnos. And then he proposed to me in the uh, Annunciation Fest in Nazareth. I on me je zamolio je za moju ruku na uh, uh, blagdan uh, navještenja u Nazaretu. And I consecrated this this uh, relationship to the lady. Ja sam naš odnos posvetila Gospi. And uh, in the divine mercy we got engaged. A uh, zaručili smo se na blagdan božanskog milosrđa. With Father Marwan Khouri he was he we visited us in Israel again after eight years and it, he was the beginning of my journey in Medjugorje and she she let it this happen again with him to show me that she is here. I s nama je bio otac Marwan Khouri koji je bio na početku mojeg duhovnog putovanja i Gospa je omogućila da on taj dan bude tamo da mi pokaže da je to stvarno sve od nje. And in during the confession for like uh, the whole year before the priests all the time used to tell me Jesus is like baking your your husband. A na ispovjedi godinu dana prije toga svećenik mi je rekao da Isus moli za mog muža. And when I met Josef he was really have this uh, like consecrated life again to the lady in those two years. A kad sam ponovo, kad sam srela Josipa, onda sam vidjela da on, se, da on živi posvećen život Gospi. He, he prays even though more than me. Moli više od mene sada. He loves the lady. Voli Gospu. Sant Michael. <laughs> Svetog Mihajla, Arkanđela. So for me it's so important to find a guy that he loves the lady and Jesus more than me that then I will know that he loves me. Za mene je važno da moj momak Gospu i Isusa voli više od mene jer onda ću znati da voli i mene. So uh, I will give you like a final tip like to have this uh, daily self uh, cons- how we say like con- consciousness? Consecration? Consciousness. Evo, moj zadnji savjet je svaki dan se posvećujte. And every day you, you will feel yourself like uh, with the lady and Jesus more and more and more and you will you will really feel the gift and enjoy every gift that they will give you you just need to really give the faith and the confidence in Jesus and svaki dan se posvećujte Mariji i Isusu i osjećate osjećat ćete njihovu prisutnost i kako vas oni ispunjavaju svojim darovima i bit ćete puni povjerenja u njih <laughs> thank you <laughs> Hvala. Thank <laughs> you.